Welcome back, everybody. We're back with musician Steve March Torme. And if there's a part of his name that sounds familiar to you, but you don't know the background, we're about to tell it. The Torme part, obviously. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, in 1945, my dad was uh, just turning 20 years old, and he and his partner, Bob Wells, got together for a writing session. Had nothing in mind specifically, but it was a very hot day in the San Fernando Valley out in California. And my dad went over to Bob's house, and he could hear Bob was in the shower trying to cool off at 10 o'clock in the morning because it was already <laughs> really, really hot. And he saw an index card on the piano with four lines of lyrics. And Bob came out of the shower, my dad took a look at it, and he says, I think we can make a song out of this, mm. and it became a standard. Dad, of course, being Mel Torme, the one and only. Yes, indeed. And those lines are? You're going to find out in a second. Oh, gee, you've yeah. got a good tease there. Talk about that, that, carrying on that musical tradition with yourself and now your daughter, Ruby. Well, yeah, we've, we were talking about the concerts that are coming up. Uh, I'm doing the Trout Museum tonight, which is a different mm -hmm. concert, and Ruby will be part of that. But uh, Friday and Saturday at the, um, at the Grand Opera House in Oshkosh, Ruby is going to be singing with me. And she has sung that song here on your mm -hmm. show. And it, I mean, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to have children, much less one that could sing. So uh, for her to be as good as she is and as poised as she is, uh, you know, there's an old adage. I think W.C. Field said, never work with children or animals. There's a reason. Yeah. She'll steal the show from me. And I'll say, okay, fine. That's <clears throat> no dinner for you Well, tonight. it is tradition to hear this song on our show every year around this time. So take it away. I'll be happy to do so. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos well, everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe will help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is going to spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> well, we had to give, we had to give the piano player and the bass player a break. Those guys were exhausted. Only a professional We've been playing all night long. can sing through technology that goes awry. The guys they told me they were tired. To they, go eat bacon. they had to go eat bacon. I understand that. I get that. We have been eating bacon all morning long. So, yeah, if you want to see anything from today's show, be sure to head to our website, wearegreenbay.com. We will have the recipes from Jones. We'll have these performances. Do I get bacon? You get bacon now. Yes. I know you wanted to wait until you were done singing. <laughs> thanks for being here. Merry Christmas, oh, Steve. Oh, thanks. Same to you. Have a great holiday season.